Yes, well, you and I may be clones, but we're still individuals. You have a name rather than a number, Captain. Why is that? Perhaps our leaders feel it's a more efficient way of distinguishing us. More efficient than a number? Hmm. I doubt the Kaminoans think that way. Still, the name has to make you feel unique. Especially in an army where everyone looks like you and talks Actually, like you. Actually, I've never really thought about it. Yes, you have. Well, how would you know? Because I am as close to you as any life form can be. I've seen how you look at my family, our home. Come on, Rex, admit it. You've thought about what your life could look like if you would also leave the army and choose the life you want? What if I am choosing the life I want? What if I'm staying in the army because it's meaningful to me? And how is it meaningful? Because I'm part of the most pivotal moment in the history of the Republic. If we fail, then our children and their children could be forced to live under an evil I can't well imagine. If you were to have children, of course, but that would be against the rules, wouldn't it? Isn't that what somebody programmed you to believe, Captain? No, Cut. It's simply what I believe. It doesn't matter if it's my children or other people's children. Does that meet with your approval? Perfectly. To each his own. That's what I always say. What does that mean, Daddy? It means you can do anything with your life that you want to. How are you doing, Jesse? Closing in, sir. We have a visual. Very well. We'll meet you in the middle. Is your transmitter working? I don't know. I haven't used it yet. Uh, all right, I'll check on it. Stupid battle droids. Sir, you made it. Get back in the pod and send out a distress signal to what's left of our fleet. We need to get a shuttle down here immediately. Roger, roger. But I must inform you, sir, there are multiple life forms approaching from the east and west. Oh, battle positions!